Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla, and I, of course, want to talk to you guys today about my one and only direction to be a better doodler. Now, okay, before we jump into this topic about becoming a better doodler, I want to talk to you about an art app I have discovered called Art Amino and how you can share all your art with a fellow community built up of artists. So you have all these fellow artists in this art community on this art app and it's called Art Amino, but I want you to stay to the end so I can show you it and I can show you how I shared my art on there. So let's talk about these little doodle princesses. I have explained to you in the past with another video called How Does One Doodle um, that I struggle as an artist with doodling in general. Now, I mean, I call all of my art doodles, but at the same time, I'm not a good doodler and I'm not good at making like chibi characters. Now these are no way chibi characters, I don't consider them that way, but they're they're cutesy and I don't know how to draw cutesy. <laughs> so it's it's a it's difficult for me because at one point I want to be as detailed as possible and I want to get all the details in there because I follow so many artists that have so much detail and I envy their detail, how detail oriented they are, but also I envy the ones that are able to draw as simple as possible with little detail and it's just perfect. And I feel like I already told you guys in the past that I used Disney princesses because I know them from memory. I did not have to look at a single reference for any of these princesses. The only one I had to look at for a reference was Tiana because I totally messed up the colors on her leaf skirt and I was so mad at myself. But it's okay, I fixed it, I redeemed myself. But <laughs> I used the Disney princesses just because they're easy easy to draw and I know what they look like and if I ever want to try a different medium or a different art style, I use them as my go-to guinea pigs for the art style just because they're easy to doodle. And I realize that I have to do a part two to this whole doodle, mini doodle princesses just because um, I don't have them all on here. My one intention was to put them all on here and to practice the doodle style with each and every single one of them just because they're all different. So I wanted to do that and I didn't have enough room. I did not think this through because I thought, hey, I can totally cut these out and make like little trading cards, but look at the way that they're spaced. They are on top of each other and somebody's hand's gonna get cut off or someone's do, their hairdo is gonna get cut off. Anyway, I didn't think it through. I did not think this through and I feel like the bowler hat guy from Meet the Robinsons. I don't think he really thought this through and I really didn't. <laughs> so I wanted to try this different doodle style because I think that I could be good at it, but I'm not good at it right now. So I just need to practice like all artists need to when they decide that, oh, I want to try this style. Oh, I want to try this medium. Well, you have to practice it in order to get good at it. And I also, it is a 2018 resolution for me to be better at Copic markers, just because I have seen people use Copic markers that completely blow me away because it's so good and I'm not on their level. But I feel the same way about colored pencils. Even though I've been using colored pencils practically my whole art career, I feel when I look at other people's colored pencils, like realistically or on fabric, I get, I don't get jealous. I get more inspired by them just by, oh my gosh, this looks great. I want to try it. But I get inspired by them. This just goes to show you that all artists aspire to be a certain artist and to somehow improve in different mediums, whatever it may be. So we, even if you think this artist is so awesome and he's so good at drawing faces or she's awesome at digital art, it all takes us, like you gotta have the fire in you <laughs> to say, hey, this fire is growing in me. I think I really do need to try digital art or I think I really need to try to be a more of a realistic artist. But that's just, it's it's gotta be a fire in you and you have to want to do it and it's only going to happen if you practice it. It's like working out every single day. You're not gonna get a six pack of abs unless you work out every single day. You're not gonna become Leonardo da Vinci even though no one will become like Leonardo da Vinci unless you get you can become a little bit close to him. You can get a little close to his art style, but you will never 
You, I mean, you won't get there unless you practice. And I know, I know, this is a rant. <laughs> it's okay, but that's the thing. You just have to practice. And even though I'm not aspiring to be like Leonardo da Vinci or Vincent Van Gogh, I am aspiring to be the person that wants to be a better doodler and keep, make create little cutesy doodles. Whether and I want to be better at this when it comes to digital art too. And I want to practice it, but I gotta start on paper. I just have to start somewhere so I know how to approach it and I want to be better at my Copic markers and I want to be better at blending and oh the list goes on and on what I want to be better at but I, I just other artists art accounts I look at their stuff and they inspire me because if they post stuff for me to see you shouldn't be jealous when you look at other artists work because you shouldn't feel jealous you should feel inspired because you want to be like them. You want to get on their level. Even though they have, they probably have years of practice on you, you got to start somewhere. <laughs> so that's how I feel about doodling little doodles because I have to start somewhere. And this seems like a good place to start. So another fundraiser I'd like to talk to you guys about in this video today is I want to talk to you guys about an art app. Now, I love sharing my art on any social media platform, whether it be Facebook, Instagram, Tumblr, blah -de blah blah the list goes on and on. I really fully believe in sharing your art just because you, it's your talent, you need to share your gifts and your talents with the world because you're an artist and you have this talent and plus it's a way for you to look back on it a year from now to see your progress. I mean, even though you hate it and everything, but I, I fully believe in you sharing your sketches and your progress as an artist throughout the years of your art career. So I want to talk to you about this app called Art Amino. I really love Art Amino and I actually found it back in July through another YouTube artist and I was checking out her video and she talked about Art Amino and I thought oh wow hey cool this 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 looks like a really cool app maybe I should download it too so I got on there and got my dramatic parrot dramatic parrot username I have to have it <laughs> so I got on the site and I checked it out and I created my username and I thought oh this this is kind of cool and I really do like it because it has all these features for art and you can make blogs and a wiki post you can post polls you can ask questions about art supplies like hey what should i use for watercolor can i use bristol board or should i actually get watercolor what's the difference and all these artists can jump on there and give you like advice and i like it because it's community of artists it's like jumping into a huge room of artists in art amino because everybody has their own style and their own medium and they can get on there and they can share their advice and how they what they would use and share a little bit of their experience and I really like that and they have like chat rooms that can go on there and you can discuss anime or future animations or how you felt about animation so you can go and check that out also what I really like is that when I'm you can see me posting my mini doodle princesses right now and I'm picking categories look at all these categories that you can pick from you can go through and like, oh, mine kind of fits in this category and mine fits in this category. Oh, I'll do this and this. I mean, we got a fan art one. We've got comics, colored pencils, charcoal, pastels, character design, animation, anime. It's all kinds of different styles and mediums on there. I can see digital artists. I can see traditional artists. And it's, it's, it's really awesome to see an app that is dedicated just for art and I really really like it so I would encourage you if you don't want to do any of the other social media platforms make sure you check out art amino it's in it's for iPhones and it's for uh, galaxy androids whatever you have you can go and you can check it out and so I really like it I really really like it and I encourage you to create your own profile and if you do or if you're already on there make sure you go and jump on the mini Disney princesses doodles and say hey you sent me here from your video hey and I will make sure to give you a follow that way I can follow your art and your progress as an artist on Art Amino because look I'm only following seven people so I need to follow more people <laughs> so make sure you get on there and comment that hey I love you blah 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 I don't know <laughs> but it's really fun and I really encourage you guys to go ahead and check out Art Amino. But yes, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you have a most wonderful day and I will see you all later. 